My sense in Canada here is that uh, edu educational research has kind of had a renaissance since uh, about 2001 when we, we said we're going to use evidence-based practices. And, and this has come from the uh, field of medicine where we're, we're not letting you experiment with drugs on me. <laughs> it has to go through clinical trials. We get some evidence to say, okay, it might help you. We'll qualify that. And so it, what it's leading to in the research community is we're talking about active ingredients is rather than just giving you stuff and hoping it works, the, kind of the hope model, is that we want to know what's in that. And, and it's interesting when we look at technology, because technology is often a black box, is if I just give you an iPad, you'll read more, right? You know, well, we're treating that iPad as a black box, is, well, what's in that iPad? You know, because we can have bad apps like we have bad textbooks. So, so the question of, of research is trying to identify what works for whom and under what conditions. And that's leading us towards more of an evidence-based uh, profession as opposed to just, I think it works. Or they like it, so let's do it some more. And so the challenge for teachers is that we are probably going to have to be more engaged in research than ever before. And we're not really preparing teachers to read a research journal to find out some interesting things to do in class on Monday. So it, it's, a, it's an interesting time in educational research for the profession, but my sense is going forward, it's gonna be a, a lot more non-negotiable. Right now, it appears that if you'd like to use it or like to go to a workshop and learn a little bit about research, uh, but really we're, we're being charged as designers of research to make it applicable, to say, okay, if we worked on small scale, can we turn it into a large scale to see if it works? And if it does work, what are the active ingredients so somebody can do it and try and get some benefit immediately for children? Teachers are more um, in kind of in a research and development model. They're trying things and noticing that it works. And if it doesn't, we come back tomorrow with something else another strategy, because it's not acceptable to just keep letting you fail. And so what I have to do is keep puzzling about why you didn't get it, how, how I can support your work. And, and in my work, what that calls out is for more technology tools, is how can I get you access to engage in things you can't do yourself? And, and historically, that's been known as assistive technology. But now, as we take mainstream technologies, uh, it, it could be anything. And so the question here is, um, how do teachers find these things? Uh, but, but again, we may need support from learning coaches or technology coaches, but the question is how do we find things that help kids work?